war. Live Aid. Oh, good morning, America. Good morning, America. Tina. We'll hear from Mick Jagger and Tina Turner a little bit later in this hour. Good morning. Of course, Martin. Matthew Lee Johnson will have an exclusive interview with two of the Live Aid stars, Mick Jagger and Tina Turner. Daniel Jagger Sh and Tina Turner together, just two of the dozens of the great music stars who performed at the Live Aid concerts on behalf of the fight against world hunger. Here are just a few moments of their performance. It's not, the, it's not the Perry Como show. <laughs> In a few minutes, our exclusive interview with Mick Jagger and Tina Turner. Wow, they're great. They are. On the date Lee for McPhail the... Lee on baseball after the... Most thrilling brought together Mick Jagger and Tina Turner. In an exclusive interview backstage in Philadelphia, Mick and Tina told Steve Fox that this chance to perform together was something they'd been wanting to do for a long, long time. Legend was that Tina Turner was the woman who taught Mick Jagger oh, how to dance. They got to put us on the spot on that one. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I don't know if you see my dancing. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was an exchange because I took his songs, and he was. You no, know, his songs actually inspired me, and so my steps inspired him. So that those sort of came together. Yeah, I used to, well, I used to watch her uh, back, her back. You know, get this back. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why is it important for the two of you to be taking part in this event? I think it's good to be part of this. I think it's a good event. I think it's, yeah. it's an honest I event. Think it's honest. I think um, and it's And it's also fun for the performers. You know, we don't have a tremendous amount of pressure on us. Yeah. We're only doing 20 minutes. Tina's doing, what, one number with yeah. her. I mean, yeah. so it's fun it's a, for us. It's a get-together for us. Yeah. And in the meantime, we're taking care of something else that's very important in the meantime. A get-together as well, though. Is that kind of part of the fun of this? this yeah, I think so. I when mean, are we ever all together? Yeah, very rarely. Yeah. See everyone. You Different see, parts of the world we all see each other, but we, I haven't seen this many musicians. Like, yeah. There's almost everyone here I know, I know, but more or less everyone here yeah. I'm acquainted with. So it's just wonderful to see them all. Do you sense that you're part of a historic event being here? It's definitely history, and there are people starving and dying, and this cause is like to help that situation. So definitely history. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's definitely fun I was, uh, for the reasons I just said. I think it's um, it's it's fun to go out there and rehearse yesterday with the band with Tina. It's fun to see all these people today enjoying themselves. I out think there. people like to see that too. Yeah, they, they want to see something want to really different, different, slightly different yeah. from the band getting out there, like what's on now. Yeah. Phil Collins flying. There, all these things go make it all um, fun. Yeah. You know. Some people say that in recent years, celebrities and general rock stars in specific have grown increasingly arrogant and self-centered, selfish. Is this a way of giving something back? No, I think they're still an arrogant, self-centered. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Shifty you, Mick. Be nice. No, but no, no, of course not. I don't agree that they always are. Not all of them. There are some that are, of course. You know, that's the nature of the profession. I mean, you know, but um, they're not all as, as full of it as, uh, as you'd think. And I think today uh, that's all been sublimated to some extent. Proven that they are capable of the grand. The yeah, of the, of a, it's not so, I don't think the gesture is so grand, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I think it's a, just a human thing to do. I, I don't think it's a grand gesture, I think, but it's a good thing and a good fun thing to do. It's not put me out particularly. It's been a couple of fun days for me, and if that can help uh, someone in a terrible situation, then great. And secondly, there are no rules here. Yeah. We're all here because we want to be. It's not a contracted, do you know? Yeah, I mean, if you're getting right. into an arrogant sort of a thing, it's we, not we, about that anyway. Yeah, it's, it's not our a choice. Just, and there's no money. As soon as there's no money involved, all that, it's, <laughs> it's all right. about money. And yeah. that, all that egocentricity, that arrogance is all about how much money you got. And so no one's being paid here, so that's out the window. Yeah. So take away the money and you get nice people yeah. sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Absolutely. <laughs>
bare chested. And bare legged, not too bad for a combined age of almost 90 years old. That's the <laughs> truth. Rock and I like roll the yellow and jacket going. the best. I think I'm uh, going to get one of those. Two real legends. Yeah, you'd you yeah. could use it. Anyway, in about uh, 15 minutes, it's 15 minutes of eight, right? Sorry. Lee McPhail, the men representing the owners in the next.